I am going to take um, these tan boots and I might darken the low, dark it, dark up the uh, the upper half or the lower half. I'm not sure what I want to do with those yet, but these these are these were these are um, these are leather uh, and they're punch to simulate uh, ostrich. These are not real ostrich uh, a hide. Okay, so so what what the first step is? I'm gonna clean up the dust and then I'm gonna lather it up with some saddle soap some saddle soap right and then um, and then wipe it off let it dry buff it out and then from there I am gonna for the work boots I most likely won't use the mink oil I'll use some type of uh, vegetable oil so I'll put the vegetable oil on there or uh, or some type of lotion uh, leather conditioner and then um, and then I'm not sure if I'm, I can use Johnson wax um, or another polish. Uh, after you after you lotion or oil your boots, you will need to, need to let it sit for like roughly a week. But then I'm going to speed up this the, this video um, so you don't have to sit and watch oil dry. Um, then you need an old rag, not a new rag, an old rag that you've used for polish before. Um, to um, and you know, not everyone has an old rag. You know, you just use a new rag, and then just keep the just keep the the rag with the old polish on it because um, that's really helpful when you uh, when you apply the uh, the wax. Um, anyways, uh, you're gonna need a couple of uh, horsehair brush. Uh, this is for uh, the darker, the black, uh, the black shoe polish, and I use one for the tan or brown shoe polish. Right, and then here's the key. I use a heat gun, um, and I'll show you uh, how wonderful this will help your boots in an application process. Right, uh, the application of wax um, on your uh, footwear. All right, so uh, with that, I am going to um, pause this, and then I'm going to start cleaning boots. Um, and All right, so I'm back. I did some before and pick uh, and uh, before pictures, and then I want to do a little bit, uh, a few, uh, a few after uh, picture. Uh, for you guys, it'll be a little bit, but this process is probably gonna take me a couple of weeks because um, you know it's it's it's, it's winter, and I can let the, let these things sit um, uh, for a while because I'm not gonna be out in the in the train. All right, so first thing you need to do is pretty much brush, brush it clean, right? We talked about that using an old brush. And then another thing I also do is I use a, uh, a light saw product, a similar uh, to a light saw product um, to disinfect the shoes uh, after uh, each wear. You do a couple of spray in there like the bowling alley um, and uh, you prevent uh, you will prevent uh, some athlete's feet. Um, and of course, you know, like I said, you know, we have a, a lot of stickers, so we'll remove the sticker, and uh, they don't usually stick to the leather, uh, but they do stick to the bottom. Um, and then uh, afterwards, what I do is, um, I do have a shoe tree in here. Um, and I also do afterwards. I'll do a. I'll do like an edge dressing on these uh, on these boots, and uh, you don't look like a. Each came out of the woods sometimes. If you have uh, decent boots, when you have to run to the store and don't have time to change uh, change out your uh, footwear. So, anyways, old pair of socks, um, saddle soap, little liquids in it. I'll lather it up real good. What I'll do is I'll start cleaning boots. Right. Let it dry. Um, I'll put the camera on hold because you really don't need to see me uh, do this for a couple of minutes. It won't take long. And then once it's dry, then I will use 
an old t-shirt uh, without the sticker of course and uh, dry it off buff it let it dry uh, let it dry buff it and then uh, add a pair uh, add, add a layer of conditioner or oil to it um, I'll make that decision uh, when time comes all right see you in a bit okay guys so it's been three days since we uh, oiled down the uh, the boots um, so let me show you where I'm at with this thing so these are a pair of Ariats, Ariats and uh, um, we did a real heavy actually two heavy coats of uh, oil on it and uh, we lightly buffed it out so um, this looked good enough as a uh, work boot so I'm not gonna put um, a uh, I'm not gonna put any wax on it so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna set it aside um, I'm gonna do a little work on these these are the Tony Lamas um, you know uh, I don't know if you remember but when we uh, showed it at first it was a lot lighter so these received uh, two coats of oil and uh, I went ahead uh, to save us some time uh, this right here does not have uh, the right boot does not have any um, wax on it and the left boot I went with a brown uh, a brown uh, polish and uh, so what's gonna happen is gonna darken it up a little bit and I may go with uh, two coats uh, but actually I already put one um, heavy-duty coat on it and uh, you know I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's gonna be in the title but uh, I, I use a, uh, a heat gun um, to uh, apply the wax. Uh, well, actually, I, 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 I use um, an old rag first, an old polish, uh, a, a shoe polish um, rag, and then uh, I applied the brown uh, to the bottom half of the boot, this bottom half of the boot, and then the top half, I'm going to use um, uh, mink oil. Um, I, and, I'm, I, and I usually do that with all the boots. All right, so uh, I did use a brown polish, and then uh, I reapplied it, and then uh, in a few minutes I'm going to show you what it looks like when uh, you take the heat gun and melt the wax, uh, the polish, onto the boot, and then let it dry, and then use a uh, horsehair brush to brush to buff it out. Um, let me turn on the heat gun. All right, so on this I only did one, uh, just to demonstrate it, and then... Uh, on this, I only did one, one boot, and I did both of these. Um, so let's see, uh, let's see how it turned out. Okay, you gotta be real, real careful with this because the heat gun will burn your hand. I'm just gonna turn on high, and as you can see, see how rich the color is getting. Let's see. All right, you can tell. The front is not, you can tell a little bit where the front is kind of dull still, and then the back starting to get a little shinier. All right, and then when you hit it with a brush, it turns out really nice. That's it. It's the same process, you use a waterproof um, a canvas coat. I don't know if you can see, it's starting to get shinier. I gotta be real careful here because I don't want to burn my hand. Of course, I don't want to burn all this stuff here neither. Alright, so um, I don't know if you can see the difference here. Let me lay it down. See, it's not quite as shiny as this. All right, so with that, let me um, let me get off camera, and uh, you know what? Let me do this side. Yeah. See the dullness right there? And watch how it gets a little shinier. Yeah. It doesn't take long. I guess the thing with this is you gotta be careful around the thread. Uh, if you stay at one spot too long, it'll burn the thread right off your boots. Right. And it may need two coats. 
Um, I'm only doing one coat, and it's good enough for about six months. And uh, I like to do it um, in the winter time. Somewhat winter, you know, it's 70 degrees outside right now. Probably gonna get about 72. So that's that, and uh, I have to apply some to these, and then I'll buff it out with a, like I said, a brush. But uh, let me see. Let's do this. Let's do this one. See how dull it is? Boom. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Right. You see it so much better. It doesn't take long. Yeah. Then no dry and dull, just a bit, but now it's really applied. And then you hit it with the brush and then uh, you have a great pair of boots. Let me take it to the pair of fry. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. See how dull it is? Look at that. It's like perfect. That's just amazing. And you can see, you'll see the brown that I put the, I applied to the tip of the boot. And you can use show Cordovan, I mean not show Cordovan, but, but the Cordovan color, uh, the Oxblood style color. Um, it also adds a different uh, look to your boot. You know, when you get in the truck, or when you're driving, it's really hard on the heel. Um, I need to clean that, but it's really hard on the heel. And of course, these pointy toes. Uh, I don't know if you can see the brown that I've added. But, uh, I'm going to do this a couple of times, and then I'm going to come back. Like I said, I'm gonna come back and, and add mink oil to the to the, the boot shaft. And let's see if the other one's dry enough for me to. I see a little scuff mark up here. What I'll do to the scuff mark is I'll add some more polish to it. But when this start to dries out a little bit, then you take it just a. I use a, I label mine brown so I don't accidentally use a darker brush. And you got a real rich. There is to it. You got a real rich looking pair of boot. Pair of boots. Now this is just like I'll do a little more brushing to it, um, but for uh, and then I'll show you the end product when uh, at the end of the video. But. Uh, And I usually put a shoe tree, an adjustable shoe tree, inside of these boots when I uh, when I polish them. But I figure you guys just get the gist of it. All right. So with that, let's 
go back to the pair of work boots. And it does look a heck of a lot better than it did earlier. And you know these work boots, you know, it's got the rustic look. It's got a beautiful rustic look. Um, probably doesn't show up too well in the camera, but uh, bend it a little bit. I had some, I had some paper in it to, to stiffen it up. But, uh, you know, it does have it does have beautiful rustic look, and it looks great in a pair of jeans. But you do need some. Uh, some edge dressing. Let me see here. Without spilling it all over the place. Add a little bit of edge dressing to this. And it doesn't take long. Um, but I'll compare boot here as soon as I get this done. I don't want to take too much of your time. Thank you so much for coming in. Just a, just a quick thing, but uh, just to show you the difference with a, a little bit of dressing on it. So I mean, so uh, all right, let me get uh, back to finishing these up, and uh, I'll show you the end product uh, um, in pictures. All right. Okay, guys. So. Uh, I am going to take this a step further because I really like the uh, the rustic look on this boot. Um, so, and then you see the shaft there. It doesn't really, it does go, but it doesn't really go to the the bottom like I like. So the boot shaft is a little lighter in color um, and uh, doesn't quite match the richness of the brown that I've turned uh, from a yellow to a brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a uh, shell caravan color. Um, and what I did, as you can see here, uh, I don't know if you can see the color or not, but I started putting, um, not a shell cordovan, but a cordovan, uh, uh, polish on it. And I, and I did the first coat already. Um, and I am now going to, uh, demonstrate to you the second coat. And then I'll show you the finished product. So how I turn a blonde pair of boots into a rustic, uh, color right very liberally I uh, applied uh, the color coat of on onto the boot right. and I've hit this with a heat gun already uh, to melt it to melt the polish the wax into uh, this boot and as you can see I did like I said I did one coat already over here very liberally all right I'll put it on just so I can change that color like I said this is the second coat and as time goes on it's gonna slowly turn into a deep oxblood color right so as you can see that there and I'll show you the, the first coat on this boot you see how it's kind of blonde so I'll put the first coat on. Um, it will look something. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun here, and then I'll show you the finished product. All right. Remember, the heat gun, uh, one, one quick thing about boots is um, they don't have the best arch support no matter what you buy, uh, unless you go buy a super custom uh, pair of boots up in College Station. But, uh, and there's a year wait list for a custom pair of boots. Actually, it's 18 months or sometimes it takes them four years to make a pair of boots. But anyways, I buy it a size, size, size and half larger so I can put a nice uh, insole, a supportive insole. All right, so let me show you this real fast. So I can see it as I get, 
let me hit this. Right. Okay, again, the heat gun. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but the dull started to turn a little shinier. And then I'll take a brush and brush that in once it dries a little bit. And I don't know if you can see the, the, the difference in the two color. So I hit that twice. And as you can see, it's going to get darker. And it's an amazing looking pair of boots now. You know, these things are, I want to say, almost 15 years old. And they look so much better than a brand new pair of boots. You gotta be careful around your arm here because you don't want to burn. Let me take these off here. You don't want to burn your arm with the heat gun because it doesn't take much. put this on pause real fast so now um, I heated it up let it dry for a few seconds and then uh, I'm just gonna use a brown brush and uh, hit it remember this is a very liberal um, second coat so I'm just gonna brush it in uh, this the, the, the horse hair will then uh, distribute it through the area where the lotion didn't get to All right, just lightly brush it you don't have to do it hard remember you don't have to uh, the, for the best look it's okay to have some dark spots and some light spot All right so and then after this I'm gonna let it sit keep on doing this for uh, maybe three or four times um, over the next day or two and as you can see, uh, this is one coat. Uh, this is two coats. All right, here's the first coat of uh, Cordovan. And then this is the boot with the second coat. I am not going to put a third coat on um, for now. Maybe uh, in a month or so, I'll throw a, a couple more coats on. And it is amazing looking. So let me do the before and after. This is what it looks like before. And we're only looking at the boot shaft, and this is after. All right. There you go. So uh, that's how I turn an old pair of uh, my old pair of uh, Tony Lama um, boots from a blonde pair of boots to a, uh, a pretty decent looking, uh, again, uh, rustic style boot. Thank you.